Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to make a license plate painting, uh, a U.S. license plate painting. So in this case, uh, I did Massachusetts, and here's the final product of what this video is going to be going over. So there you can see the Massachusetts license plate. Uh, I filmed this kind of haphazardly when I was making this, and some of the transitions are probably going to be super awkward, so just stay with it, and here we go. So here are the supplies that you need for this project. Uh, the first thing that you want is a canvas, piece of canvas. Uh, license plates are, at least in the U.S., are 6x12 or around that size. So I got a 6x12 piece of canvas that has this kind of back. Um, got it off Amazon and it was a pack of two. I can put the link uh, to the website in the description. Uh, I also needed to get some, let's see, some paint brushes. So I got a few of these. I only really use these two though, the small ones, and I guess a bigger one for the when you paint the background white. Uh, but really I only use these two small ones because it's it's quite fine details uh, in this picture or painting. And then I also got some super cheap acrylic paint. Ta-da! You can tell it's really cheap because the gray one is actually green. Unless I'm just stupid, and that's actually gray. Um, so those are the... Ooh, actually, nope, you need one more thing, and I can't show you because that's what my video device is resting on, but you need an X-Acto knife. Um, here are the replacement blades. Um, so those are... That's all you need. So you need the canvas, you need the acrylic paint, the paint brushes, and then an X-Acto knife, and a cutting board, uh, if you don't want to cut your table. Uh, so that's all you need for this project. So just as a background setup kind of thing, I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again because um, it took me a while. Uh, <clears throat> but I took my canvas that I have, and I wanted the... It was fully white, as you can see here on the sides and everything. So the first thing I did was I painted the, uh, the top of it white, and you can't tell because it's the same color as the canvas. Uh, but I like having that layer on top, the white layer, as opposed to just having exposed canvas. Um, and I hear that's what good painters do. So, <clears throat> so I painted the top layer white. And then for the sides, I took uh, black and... Sorry, my TV's on, so that's why my face is blue right now. Because it's a Sprint commercial. Um, <clears throat> and... <laughs> so Okay, so I took the black paint and white paint and mixed it together. That makes gray. And so I painted the sides kind of like a grayish, uh, it's not supposed to be uniform gray, it's supposed to be kind of like, what? Like, not uniform. So, so I did that, and then, uh, I kind of cleaned up the edges so that they're, so that it's nice, but it's not really nice, but it's kind of nice. And so that gives me, like, my base layer, so I have the white as the background, because pretty much the entire Massachusetts license plate is white in the background, except for the text. Um... And, and then the sides are, are kind of pretty, so if you ever, if you want to hang it up on a wall, you're not going to see exposed white canvas on the side. Uh, although for this one, I guess that's really not that bad, so we'll see how it turns out. So what I did here was I went online and searched uh, just Massachusetts license plate, and uh, went to Google Images and found a picture that was pretty much dead on. Uh, you know, perpendicular to the to the actual license plate, and I used my snipping tool here, and took a snip of it and saved that. I also found the letters that I wanted. These aren't actually the the, the letters on the picture, so I snipped a D, E, a V, I, N, and the number five, and then I resized them to this to the correct size for this license plate that I got, and then I just put them over uh, the actual license plate. I also got an expiration date and I got the uh, expiration year sticker and uh, placed all these, sized them up correctly and, pla and placed them all in the correct place on this uh, on this license plate. And then I took another snip of this um, I took another snip of this one and then I put that into this tab here so now it's a single picture and then I opened it up, right click, size and properties, and uh, again the license plate is is a 6 by 12, 6 inch by 12 inch, uh, just like the real license plates and like the canvas that I bought. And 
so I sized it. So it ended up being, after I printed it out a couple times, it ended up, the width ended up having to be 11 inches to get it to be a 12 inch width, and the height had to be 6.25 inches to get the 6 inch height, so that was uh, kind of interesting. Uh, so just a little bit of trial and error there. And then once I print it out, then I have the uh, then I have the uh, a printout, which I can then cut with my X-Acto knife. So I ended up going through a couple iterations of, of this, uh, like I mentioned in the Excel, uh, when I was going through my Excel file. Uh, but pretty much what you do is you, uh, when you print this out, it'll, when I printed it out, it came out, out on two pages because it was uh, too wide. So you can see the seam here. And so I cut out, I just cut out the, the edges, cut out the edges, and then uh, I just put the two together here and then put pieces of tape all, on the, all along this seam, and that'll get ready for, uh, that'll get us ready to start cutting out uh, the letters and everything with the X-Acto knife. So in the next few sped up videos, it's me cutting out stuff with an X-Acto knife, which is super interesting. Okay, so here I've painted the red, red, and black that you can't really see, but it is black. And now what I forgot to do was this uh, little spirally thing, which is a really, really light, like silver or gray. So I'm going to do that before I do this blue parts, because that way the blue will be on top of it uh, when I finally do that. So I'm going to take this, whoop, this thing off. And then um, I'm going to mix my little bit of black with white and make a super, super light gray uh, and then put this spiral thing on. And then we can put this piece back on top and do the blue and then that should be it. Oh, except for the color thing up here, uh, which I need to figure out how I want to do. I just went through and uh, did a couple touch-ups, which you might be able to see here. On the other videos, you can probably see that sometimes it went outside the lines or something, especially on the five over here, um, just when I was painting over the uh, the stencil. And so I just went through and I went through with some white paint and just touched up. So like that's a, it's really hard to see. Um, but yeah, I touched up definitely down here. You'll, you'll be able to see it in up there. You'd be able to see it. Uh, so that was one of the things I did, and you can see the finished gray kind of squiggly line, which is meh, but it looks it looks pretty good. Um, I guess I still have to touch up the, the J up there, and maybe some of that right there. So I guess that's what I'm going to do next, actually. Now, for real, I've actually touched everything up. So you can see up there the June is touched up for the most part, and then that is also touched up. So now we move on to the next thing. I wait for everything to dry. This is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to wait for everything to dry, and then I'm just going to put the um, this thing back on and do the uh, the blue part, so the Massachusetts and the, the Spirit of America part, and then we'll go from there. All right, I just uh, didn't take a video of it, but I um, just put the screen thing back over, and then I went over and I did the blue uh, parts here. So that looks pretty good. I just need to touch it up. As you can see, the P got really messed up, and so the H, mainly because I wasn't being careful. Uh, so I'm just going to go over that with some white paint uh, to clean it up. And then it's almost done, uh, aside from a couple things, like maybe that sticker up there, the 14.
went through and I touched up the, the blue stuff that I was talking about. So you can see the P here, the E, the H, the O, some of this stuff. Uh, so that looks pretty good now. And um, I also added the, uh, I forget if I said this before, but whoops, I added the, um, the holes essentially by just painting over with white paint. So on the A, the E, the A, the O, the P, the E. Um, and I actually, it turns out I actually like the, uh, the gray sides for this. Uh, I think it looks nice with the gray as opposed to just having white. Uh, one of the things I did, so I had actually made a, um, I had made a uh, kind of a test one before, um, just on a flat piece of canvas, but I don't really like the flat ones because you can't really hang it up. Uh, this is just to see how it would turn out. And I added some shading here, some gray shading to give it a little bit of depth. So I kind of like that, and I'm thinking about adding that on this one. Uh, I didn't add the the painted decal up here, though, so I'm definitely going to add that to this one up there. Just added the uh, the shading, so you can see on the, on the D here, and there, and then on the E, the V, it's all on the left side of the letters, the I, the N, and then the 5. So I've added all the shading there, so what I want to do next is, um, is I want to cut out the the portion for here. So since I'm done using these templates here um, for the actual painting, oops, okay, since I'm done using that, um, I'm just going to cut this out, this square, out of here, and that way I can outline it on the actual uh, canvas uh, just with like a, a pencil or something really lightly, and then I can put in the the uh, then I can paint the <clears throat> the color and the color for for the 14. It looks like for the for the 2014 expiration year, uh, it looks like that blue is essentially the same color blue as this. So I think I'll just be painting it the same color blue there. It looks like the 2012 was green, 2013 was red. Um, so yeah, I'll be painting that one blue. What I did was I painted this in. I know I said I was gonna do like the same blue that this was in, but then I figured that I wanted a little bit of contrast and it looks like it may be a little bit darker in the pictures online so I just mixed a little bit of the blue with the black and got that color painted that in and uh, painted in the uh, part of the four right there I didn't do um, that I didn't know if I wanted to do but I think I might is that there's these holes for where you can screw into the license plate uh, I didn't cut those out um, before, but I think I might put them on and paint them on. So what I did was I cut them out. I cut these out of the, of the, uh, stencil. And then you can see that I laid them out on here where they would be. And it, it kind of looks pretty good. So I think I might throw those in there to make it more authentic. So I'm just going to add those in right now with some black paint. I finished putting on the, those black dots that you can see here and I like them a lot better on here so that was good that I did that so I think that I'm actually done with this project it looks pretty good if you look at the whole thing like this it looks pretty real if this would focus but yeah it looks pretty good um, so I guess that's the whole project there so thank you for watching this video